Good morning, guys. I am a literal hot mess right now. Um, we had a really long night. Uh, Soy had another asthma attack. And um, although I feel like we were a lot more prepared this time um, because we had an inhaler and kind of like a plan, if you can call it that, I literally had to fight for that inhaler. Um, Kaiser sucks. But um, it did help him a lot. We did about four puffs last night. Um, and it was weird because it kind of like started off similar to the last time we had an attack back in March. Um, so, so I turn, turn that down, baby. Um, back in March, except that time, um, I kind of was like already on edge because he was super swollen and everything the night before. Um, but last time he did complain of like a scratchy throat and I chalked it up to allergies cause it was March and he had been outside picking flowers and, um, all that stuff. And so last night yesterday was sunday and we actually didn't even leave the house yesterday we just kind of stayed inside all day um i cleaned and we kind of had like a lazy day i was feeling really really tired yesterday so we didn't even go anywhere but probably around one or two he was saying that that his throat was scratchy and of course I, that was not my first thought um my first thought was of course, you've been to school, you've been back to school for three days, and you're already sick, because um, for TK, he was literally sick constantly, um, and so I was like, great, it's already starting, like, I hoped your immune system would be a little bit, bit better, but you got a sore throat, so then um, that was about one in the afternoon, and then you can hear him, like, he has this yucky cough, um, and then we finished our day we got in bed and he was like my throat's still bothering me and I was like I was like what does it feel like does it hurt is it scratchy he's like it's scratchy and it just feels weird and I was like okay well um you know if it gets any worse or you wake up at night mama we'll give you some like cough medicine or throat medicine or whatever we can find um and I was like oh, I'm gonna go get you your own water <laughs> just so you don't get me sick he's like well I already drink out of your cup and I was like true but anyway so we ended up going to bed. He fell asleep about 9 o'clock. Um, and then... And then... Um, I was awake on my phone for maybe like an hour. And I had noticed... I had noticed that his breathing was kind of um, changing. But I was thinking like, oh yeah. like I Because I heard him kept going... <clears throat> and I kept saying, thinking like, oh man, it's getting worse. Like his little... Throat. He's gonna have a. Sore, he's gonna wake up in the morning with a sore throat, um, and so I ended up falling asleep. And probably about, um, I don't know. I, I stayed on my phone for a while, and then so I fell asleep. And then I woke up to go to the bathroom one of the two hundred times, and I heard him um, cough, and it was like that. It almost sounds like that croup cough. I think that's what it's called. Like it's very wheezy. And then I heard him breathe in and it was wheezy. So I was like, nope, we're not, we're not, I'm not doing this again. So I woke him up and I was like, how do you feel? And he start, he started like crying. Um, and I could hear him wheezing. And so I went and I got his inhaler and we did two puffs. And, um, and then it was super weird. Ryan got home early last night, probably because it was Sunday. That doesn't always happen though. But Ryan got home and then, um, um, he walked in and he was like, what's going on? And I was like, so he's having a hard time breathing. And, um, so Ryan started to like kind of freak out a little bit. Like, well, how do you feel? So I like, what, what's wrong? Can you breathe? And then so he started to like panic and I had to like look at Ryan and tell him like, stop, like stop. You're scaring him and it's making it worse. So I was, I just sat there and like calmed him down. I was like, Hey, this time's different. Like mama has medicine. We're going to be okay. Like. You did so good. You were so brave last time. You knew how to breathe. Um, and I, like, got him to calm down a little bit. And I, and I had to tell Ryan, like, don't stop talking. Like, so if we freak out, he starts to freak out. Understandably. The last time this happened, it was so much worse. And it was so freaking scary because we were blindsided with it. And it was literally like he was breathing through a freaking needle. Like, it was horrific. Um, and so this wasn't that. Um, 
but it could have been and so i'm really thankful we had an inhaler and um i literally just tried to stay calm but after that i ended up we ended up doing four puffs and he was i held him upright and he ended up falling back asleep and i literally sat there and watched him and listened to him breathe for all night so i'm exhausted i woke up my mom last night just because she's a couple houses down and um She's an RN, and so it always makes me feel better. I always text her. I'm like, <laughs> if we have to go to the hospital, you're jumping in the car. Um, but, yeah, so that was my night. I'm literally so tired. Um, he has, like, that cough still, and he is still wheezy, so I have his inhaler out. Waiting to hear back from his doctor. Haven't heard. She's out of office. Like, it's just always something with Kaiser. Um, but going to tell you guys something else and I forgot. I kept him home from school today because um, I'm new to the whole inhaler thing and I didn't know you need like a doctor's permission slip every each new year. So I went to go drop off his inhaler on Friday. I was like, hey, this is for um, Sawyer. He's had um, an asthma attack before. Like we keep this in the office. She was like, do you have the form? And I was like, uh, do we? she was like, you have to fill one out every new year. So I was like, great. So then I go home and try and get the form, and the doctor's out of office, and of course we have our second asthma attack. So I called him out of school. I was like, he doesn't have an inhaler there. I'm not going to drop him off at school while he's wheezing with no medicine on hand. So we'll see you when we get the form. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's our night. <laughs> um, and I think, I'm, I think my mom's going to come over, and we're going to go get some coffee because I woke her up, and I'm sure she stayed up for a while after that too, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see how Sawyer's doing. <clears throat> how you doing, baby? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you want cuddles? I think we're gonna go get some coffee with Mimi. Hmm? You take a deep breath for me. How does it feel? Better? Still, still a little wheezy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll just take it easy today, huh? Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our channel. I think it's so funny how, like, seriously, every vlogger that I watch, um, and no hate to them whatsoever at all, but every, like, YouTuber that I watch, my hair's a mess, um, they look so cute in the morning, and they're, like, wearing matching pieces, and, like, I look like a hobo. I just rolled out of bed. And I have a big t-shirt on and sweats. Like, no matching pieces, no nothing over here. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how this vlog is going to go because I think I have, um, like, Soy's asthma attack update. And I think I'm going to start the video off with that and then kind of, like, roll over into this vlog. Um, so, sorry if it's a little all over the place but we so i started school this week and we adjusted we kind of just adjusted to that and i didn't really vlog much of it um he was really tired after school and like he was dealing with like the aftermath of having the asthma attack which is really um really like wearing on him so uh yeah so right now it's our first saturday and rye has covid so we're trying to stay away from him um but uh, yeah i don't really know the plans for today i have some cleaning and stuff to do and then a couple errands so i'll take you guys along for that but um mostly trying to avoid getting covid but i don't know if we're going to be able to avoid that which sucks but it is what it is um what else yeah, so if this vlog is all over the place, I'm sorry, but that's probably how it's starting out. Um, yes. All right, we got a late start. It's 8.59. What are we doing? Getting donuts. Getting donuts. That's what we're doing. For breakfast. For breakfast. So good. We got some homework, huh? I don't care if it's... Can you read me this? Soy. Mm-hmm. What does that word say right there? Red. Very good. Now open the book and read it to me. R E D red. R E D red. Good job. I 
can spell red. Almost. I can spell red. I could spell red. Next one. Down here. I. I could spell red. Fire truck. What does this spell? Fire. Fire truck. Nope. Fire. Fire engine. Trucks. Trucks. Um. You know your song. Fire trucks are red. Fire trucks are red. Good job. Fire trucks are red. Stop signs are red too. Yep. <coughs> Stop signs are red too. Next. R E D red. R E D red. Good job. Go rinse your mouth out. Why do you have to rinse your mouth out? Because um, the steroid creates thrush. What what's thrush? And cavities. What's what's thrush? So they want you to like a like some nasty stuff in your mouth. We are literally the hot mess express today. Like, not matching Ryan's t-shirt. <laughs> Large and in charge. Um, I'm gonna go pick up my mom for, to go to Cosmoprof. I just tested and I'm negative, so that's good. Soy's negative. And um, we're gonna go to Cosmoprof and get some stuff for her hair really quick and then come back home. What we're gonna do i have to do my friend's hair next week so i gotta pick up some stuff for that too plus i'm looking for the opi stuff for the Haley bieber manicure um and i feel like um it's sold out everywhere but since i can go to cosmoprof maybe they'll have it but i doubt it so we're gonna do that and then figure out what we're gonna make for dinner um pretty boring day not much going on kind of slow but I want to have like, a I fun day. This is not fun. It's Sunday and it's a school night. 
<laughs> not even doing his hair, literally, like, hot mess. Hot mess is I, <laughs> I feel like more, <laughs> I feel like vloggers need to shed these kind of days. Okay, we're back. We're back Hi, Dad. from Cosmo Craft. So I is cutting some stuff before I get started on dinner. I think I'm just going to warm up some leftovers for dinner. Um... Mama, how about we just watch TV without the tea? Why? Because you don't want sleepy time tea tonight? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Um, but we will watch the movie. Yes, we will watch a movie. So we're going to watch a movie. Um, anyway, so I went to Cosmo Prop expecting nothing. And I'm super excited. Not only did they have my preferred toner combination for my friend when I do her hair, because they're always out of this freaking amazing um, Diamond Frost by by Kenra. They're always out there. Um, anyways, I feel like I got some dupes for the Hailey Bieber manicure. So, OPI, Chrome Powder, sold out on website, sold out on Cosmo Prof, sold out literally everywhere. Amazon, can't find it. Um, and so is Funny Bunny, the gel color that everybody's using. So Bye. I got, which my Cosmo Prof shouldn't, they don't have a big nail selection. So they don't even, they, Cosmo Profs just started carrying the Kiara Skyline like two months ago. And I went in and I was like ready to buy it. And they were like, nope, we're one of the stores that are getting excluded. We're not going to be getting that collection in. So today I went in because they do get OPI. They did not have Funny Bunny. Um, they had a Funny Bunny lacquer but they didn't have the gel and i don't i don't mess with nail polish um so i was super bummed so i was looking for something that would like dupe it and then i looked to my right and they had the whole kiara sky collection so i was like what the heck so i got snow bunny and it looked like a pretty good dupe for like a transparent milky white color um so i'm really hoping mm -hmm, i'm really hoping that that works um and can pass as a dupe and then they had no chrome powders in there and so she was ringing me up and i was like yeah i was like i see you guys carry carry qr sky and i think i found a, i was like have you seen the hayley bieber manicure going around everywhere and she's like yeah everybody um is doing it right now she's like our opi is completely sold out and um i was like i know i was super bummed but i feel like this is going to be a good dupe and she's like she mentioned the chrome powders and I was like, I know, I see you guys don't carry them. And she's like, actually we do, but we're always out of them. And she's like, give me one second. And she went and checked the back. She freaking had the Tin Man Can OPI in the back. So this is the one that they actually use. And I'm so excited. And it was on sale. So super excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get dinner going and then um, kind of show you guys what like our nighttime routine looks like for a Sunday Mama. and recovering from what? like Mama. asthma what book? what book is it in? and COVID. So we're going to have some tea and Mama. just relax and get in bed early tonight. Mama. Which is first and favorite. First and favorite. Mm. I added a lot of spice. <laughs> Mama. What? What's your, what's your first favorite monster truck? Oops. What's your first favorite monster truck? Grave digger. My first is um, the original grave. Mine too. I added too much spice to mine. I just warmed up some leftovers for, hold on baby, for dinner. And it's just hamburger meat and like rice pilaf and parmesan cheese. Super simple, super not fancy, like a total It's a meal, all right. <laughs> I was just trying to make something fast. And he loves it. I'm not really about it, but whatever. Iron, right? I think I... I don't think I told you guys. Oh, my, my pregnancy, pica. And, like, the craving for chalk and dirt. I talked about it on my Instagram a lot and so many people are interested in it and on my tiktok and it's so funny because people are so invested in it and it is because i'm anemic which i knew that because i was anemic with soy too um but they did put me on iron pills and the cravings did not go away so and i ate red meat so much during my pregnancy with soy so 
I don't really know. Like, I don't know. But it's a struggle, let me tell you. So I was just trying to make something with red meat in it um, that I had on hand. Because I just have not been wanting it. Like, I didn't want steak or anything. So, so yeah. I'm working with what I got. I want banana bread so bad. I just finished dinner and I made mine way too spicy. I like put cayenne pepper in it. Oh, my lashes. I put cayenne pepper in it to give it like a little kick because I don't love it. Um, I'm just trying to eat red meat to get my iron levels up. And I, I put a little too much because my nose was runny. My lips were on fire. Whoops. Yeah. Um, and... My appetite has been so little lately. Like I, I have been eating like a quarter of the amount of food that I usually eat in, in a sitting. I just feel like I'm tapped out. I'll be 29 weeks in two days. And I, this kid is in my ribs, kicking my bladder like hard. Like he will literally kick my bladder out of nowhere while punching me in the ribs. Like so he was a big boy too and I just don't understand. I did not feel like that with him. Like I felt good until i don't know like the last four weeks or something six weeks i don't know anyway so soy's finishing up dinner and i we are gonna sleep in soy's room tonight because rye has covid and he has just been in my room um and so we are gonna watch a movie out here on the couch before we head into soy's room to go to sleep so that's what we're gonna do but i have to wash him up and stuff first yes love you okay you guys so here we are just starting our nightly bath routine and this is pretty much what we do every single night sawyer doesn't like the shower and right now he doesn't want me to fill the bath up for whatever reason so i just give him a quick wash in the bathtub and then call it a night starting my nighttime skincare routine which right now is pretty simple because my skin has been flaring up and I'm really sad about it because it was doing really good and then all of a sudden I started to get a lot of congestion so first I'm just removing my makeup and I'm going in with this cleanser by Zio Skin I actually got it at a med spa and I'm really liking it it's very very pricey so I don't know if I will repurchase it but I plan to once all my makeup is gone I go in with a moisturizer by Honest, and this is the Hydro Gel Cream. I'm really liking it. I've only been using it for about a week, but it does seem very moisturizing and works really well at night. Once I rub that all in and bring it down my neck, I'm just going in and brushing my eyelashes because if you have eyelash extensions you know how unruly they can get so i'm just brushing my eyelash extensions and then also my brows so for my skincare i am keeping things to the bare minimum since i am introducing products i'm trying to make sure that those work for me before i add more products to my routine like a serum and a spot treatment but once i'm done with my skin i go over to my baby bump to show it some attention and first I go in with this oil by Honest. It's the Glow On Oil for Mamas and I absolutely love it. I've tried a ton of oils. I'll be using this one the rest of my pregnancy. And then after that, I go in with a heavier cream. I actually got this in my bump box. I won't be repurchasing it, but that's only because Honest has one too and I really like that one. So I, so I already have backups of that one. 
Um, once I'm done with the belly, I go in with this Palmer's Shea Butter, and I use this on my boobs, my butt, and on my thighs. So finishing up, I just always go in with a chapstick, and this is my all-time favorite one. I've been using it for years. It's by Nivea, and it has to be the dark blue one. It's godsend. And then I move over to Soy, and I go ahead and lotion him up in this Raw Sugar Kids lotion, and then put his jammies on, and then we move on to his nighttime steroid dose. Um, he has to take two puffs in the day, two puffs at night, and then you'll see us immediately brush his teeth and rinse out his mouth because the steroid can cause cavities and thrush so you'll see him doing that here just with school starting back up having his asthma attack adjusting to new medication we really wanted to just call it an early night so we headed out to the living room i made us some sleepy time tea lattes and then we cuddled on the couch for a little bit and watched a movie before we headed off to his room to sleep since his room is covid free and my room is not um, then we went ahead and read a nighttime story and called it a night so I hope you guys had fun with us today. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see what me and Soy have going on in the next videos, please subscribe. And we will see you guys later. Bye. You're the rose in a garden.